Hi, welcome to The Child's View. I am Becky Roth and this is my colleague Bernadette Towns and Sharon Brown. And we are here today to talk to Anna Rodriguez. She is the director at Caring Corner, a center for children that are medically fragile in Bakersfield. So with that, I'm gonna let Anna take it away. So Anna, tell us Hello, about yourself. Hello everybody, thank you for having me today. Well, Karen Corner is a very unique place. We service children who have medical needs. We are not like a typical child care center. We are actually licensed under a skilled nursing facility. So what that means is we have children who come to our center to have both their medical needs met and as well as their educational needs met. One of the things that's very unique about Caring Corner is the fact that we offer both of those dynamics. We try to take a whole child approach and take a child from where they are in their development and take them to their full potential. Wow. We what ages it. do you serve, Anna? We serve children from right out of the NICU all the way to 21 years of age. So on their 22nd birthday, the children graduate from our program, which has created a bit of a challenge for our families because at that point they become their adult child, their adult, um, I guess you could say, they, their children become dependent of the parent for child care or for care, for adult care. So one of the things that Caring Corner has been working on, and it's an ongoing process, is expanding our program to having an adult program so that the children that have attended Caring Corner throughout their childhood could attend there in adulthood as well. Nice. So what? how can parents access a program like yours? How can parents access Caring Corner? It's a preferred program. So parents could call Caring Corner and the number there is 661-847-7342. They can also come to Caring Corner. The address is 942 Weibel Road, Bakersfield, California, 93304. But oftentimes our referrals are coming from the child's pediatrician or Kern Regional Center. They may have um, a lot of times we see that children who have medical needs also experience some form of abuse in childhood so sometimes children are being referred through social workers but there has also been times now where it's word to mouth you know parents are meeting other parents who have children who also have a medical need and they are referring the families to carry corner also so anna how do you do curriculum with such so many different ages and different needs so my background is in early childhood education. I do not have a specialization in special education, although I do have some units. So our goal at Caring Corner is to provide an environment and an experience like a typical childhood. So we are not able to meet the educational requirements when it comes to a special education program, but our goal again is to always offer those rich early childhood experience. So we do offer a play-based program and it is based on the children's educational needs where they are developmentally. One of the challenges that our parents experience oftentimes is being told that their children will not accomplish typical early childhood milestones. And we always say, we're going to try. And it may take that child 10 times more time to get to that point, but we believe our goal is to get them to that full potential. And it's really about the interactions that we have with the children, having a play-based curriculum. We follow some of the assessments that you see in early childhood, such as the DRDP, Eckers, class assessments, but there's a lot of modifications that need to take place because of the demographic and the needs of our students. So we always do, and I always tell our staff and their parents, we do what's best for the child. We have to be very flexible. So parents can also check out your website, right? I saw that you you have a Caring Corner website. And I also saw that you have teachers and you have nurses. So you have both, right? So if I were talking to an early childhood education student and they were interested in working with children that were medically fragile, could they contact you? Um, what would you be looking for? What can you tell us about that? Yes, we are constantly looking for staff members because our program does run Monday through Sunday. We also offer overnight and weekend care. Wow. During the week, we're open 12 hours. And then like I mentioned, we have that weekend care and support for our families. That means that we have a high need for, for our staff. So for our teacher's assistance, we do require six units of early childhood education, as well as um, some experience in the field, a minimum of six 
months of experience or something relevant to that. So it could be working in a Sunday school, some tutoring, volunteering in a classroom. For our teachers, we require 12 units all the way to 24 units is desired in EC or a relevant field. And then we also have certified nurses assistants. They would need a certification in nursing assistants. And then we have licensed vocational nurses or LVNs that requires a nursing license. Hmm, nice. Thank you. So what, what else can you tell us? What would you like us to know about you and Caring Corner? We're going to have to pause and you're going to have to edit because my daughter is smart enough. She grabbed the key to come into the office to show me. So, so we can we can segue and talk about the fact that directors and teachers all have families at home like the rest of you, right? right. So yeah, it's a challenge, yeah. but you you pull it off very well, Miss. I can I can say because you have a lot going on between the center and working for you know Kern County Mentor Program, <laughs> and being a full time mom. Yeah. So, yep, if you can do it, yeah. right? Yep. She's just very, you know, our interactions all the time, everything stops and we want to see so much. Do you want to show them the staff? No. No, she doesn't want to share. Okay, <laughs> okay can I look at it and then you'll go back outside and help dad? Okay. Thank you for showing me. This is very interesting. When I'm done with the meeting, we'll talk about the sap from the tree. Did you find that on the tree? No, I find it on the swing. Oh, it sat from the tree. It fell out of the tree. <laughs> wow. The tree. The tree in the front where your swing is hanging. What? Outside. That's because it was there? No, nature did. Nature did? Mm hmm Why? Well, why don't you go outside and find more, do another investigation, and then when I get outside, we'll talk about it. We'll find a book that talks about why trees release that. That's a good question, right? Can you do that? Yeah. Go on and investigate. <laughs> this is a beautiful <laughs> interaction. I hope you're okay. recording. And when you're done, we'll it's, look at the book, okay? Um, it's recording. Perfect. No escaping it. That was perfect. That was a wonderful interaction. <laughs> Yep, I'm going to use that interaction to show students. That That's was amazing. That's a wonderful interaction. Thank you for that. Yep, absolutely. Oh, you're welcome. So now, I'll, after this, I'll go out there and we'll have to find a book on that. So, in closing, anything you want us to know before we, you know, close this segment? Yes, I want parents to know that, as you can see, there are many challenges and joys in, in having your own children and in parenting but one of the things that I have found as a director and also as a mother is the level of stress that parents experience when they have children who have medical needs the amount of stress that it puts on the family is significantly higher than what a, a parent like myself who has a daughter who is developing well and healthy a lot of times we see that impact within the family and the household and how it affects the siblings and their marriage. And really our goal at Karen Corner is to be a support system for these families. We believe in doing what is best for the children and we're family advocates. So we really want them to know that there is a place that exists when they are going to a typical child care center and those programs are unable to meet their children's needs so they're turned away. That there is a program like Karen Corner. It's very unique. There's nothing like us in Bakersfield. In fact, I think there's only six programs in all of Kern County. Our goal is to extend this out um, throughout the state and eventually throughout the nation because we see such a need for it. And for early childhood educators, we just want them to know that we exist because when they have children or families who come with these severe needs medically and they find that it's a bit challenging to meet those needs, they can refer these students to Caring Corner. And that's always the goal is for people to know that we exist and to get the word out there and to know that we're here to help them. Okay. Anna, that was amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us. All right, well, thank you for joining us on The Child's View. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram. And we will see you next time. Bye.